Good morning, blog post, vlog, October 21st, 2018. Had a great, successful tread trainer training for the uh, trail guides. That's a lot of training, tease. It's early, I haven't had coffee yet. But gonna remedy that shortly with our 2018 Kettles Crawl. Uh, heading over to Stephanie Nardi and uh, the uh, their coffee bar. It's going to be a good time. So we're going to take the kettles all the way through. Uh, all the public trails. We might hit some of the private trails as well. And we're going to be doing our trail reviews for the Geo Crawls, which ends October 28th. So... We'll try to do in a local area, get everybody together and rally up, see uh, who's available for public uh, and private trail rides like this, and then we'll do reviews together. And we should try to show people how to use the directory and the trail maps and that kind of thing. So it's a good time. There's a lot that's going to be happening here over the winter. Most of the time you see slumberness <laughs> with other groups in the north. Uh, not the case with Wrangler Riders and Road League of Full Wheel Drive. We have a smorgasbord of events already scheduled. And uh, Rick from our group just uh, put up that December 9th is when the um, light ride is going to be through the uh, Making Spirits Bright fundraiser which is uh, hosted by the um, Rotary Club that's the Rotary Club that does that one last year we had a whole slew of, uh, of Jeeps and had the Christmas lights on and stuff on the Jeeps and then we met at a local restaurant it was a good time so we'll be putting that on the calendar as well um, yeah, it's just lots of fun stuff happening. We got the Toys for Tots ride still on the calendar. I'm not sure if this event is going to be, like, we're probably going to have to choose between one or the other. Um, I'm not so sure doing back-to-back -back events in December is a good idea with all the holiday stuff people are doing. But we have our January ride already scheduled. And we're looking at February, end of February is going to be when the Tigerton event is going to be. So we're going to be riding through the uh, the woods and such uh, in the snow. That'll be a good time. And March, April, we usually don't do too much in April because of the spring thaw. And so there's, you know, you got to try to leave some of the trails um, during the thaw. But we could probably hit some of the public trails or do some of the gravel road overlanding stuff during that time while the real trails are thawing out. Point is, there's always something to do, and we're always doing things. Um, we'll be doing a lot more training coming up now. We'll also, we talked last night about, or yesterday we talked about the implementation of putting together all of the online training and how it corresponds with the physical training as well as the testing. So some of the online classes, you'll be able to take the class online, but you have to test out with the trail guides or with the instructors um, at certain times. Because there's some things you actually have to prove that you know that we can't replicate on with tests or quizzes or that kind of thing. You actually gotta do it. So, but you can get rid of a lot of the book work by doing the stuff online at your own leisure and then just schedule yourself to test out, which saves a whole bunch of time for the instructor as well. And we can do more test outs that way. So heading over to uh, the pier and uh, again, going to be riding through today. So it's just a gorgeous morning. It snowed yesterday. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. And the Allenton trails were extremely slick. So that, um, <laughs> good training 
for the new trail guides. Alrighty, we'll see you out on the trails. Thanks for watching.